so welcome back to my channel so for all of you all asking me how to uh, you know track jobs in the NHS jobs website I am making this video so this is the website that I've logged into NHS jobs you can see there that's my name so I've just logged into my account and I'm just going to quickly show you how you can search for jobs that you are willing to uh, you know apply for and how you know you can filter the things required and all that so over here keywords or job reference you can simply type what you want over there physiotherapy if you are willing to look for physiotherapist roles their location or postcode whatever location or postcode you want to type you can type over there so i'm going to simply type in any location or postcode over there and then you can you know so because so let's see so for example if you want to type postcode for Hertfordshire just simply click Hertfordshire and you go into search okay there you go so if you're only selected if you've only selected this place that's the place uh, that's going to come up over here and you can only find jobs that are in, on there now you can filter quite a bit again uh, like what kind of jobs you're looking for as well the bands and everything so for that you can select your filtered salary say for example you want 20,000 to 30,000 range and what pay band you want to look for say for example you're looking for band 5 jobs so you click that uh, and then you can look for job type permanent or fixed term so you can click permanent permanent or fixed type and then you can uh, go on to post a date anytime or maybe in the last two days last five days last seven days or today so I'm going to stay with any time there uh, and if you want any additional filters you can click that and see but if you're not willing to you don't have to and then you're going to apply all these filters and then see what jobs come up so there you go so now you've kept your filtered search over here the salary range 20,000 to 30,000 pounds pay band band 5 you're looking for job type permanent job now the jobs that come up so we're just going to quickly go into the jobs that come up so see because you've specifically kept this location job type pay band and salary range two jobs have come up only two jobs have come up so this depends on location so here let's see what jobs have come up one is physiotherapist band 5 and the other one is band 5 rotational occupational therapist post so I'm going to go for the physiotherapist band 5 post and, and now you're going into the job role there right so job summary and the closing date is 24th of February 2022 if you have any questions for this job you can contact this person their mail ID and their number contact number is given up over there the date that this job is posted was the 10th of February pay scheme you can look into the band the salary scale contract working time these are the things that you have to look into reference number job locations you got the address over there to locate the place what are the supporting documents that you'll have to keep if there's any technical issues the people to contact their opening time when to contact and when they're off right so now what you have to look into is whenever you're applying for a job you definitely need to look into the job description and all of that so you're applying for a physiotherapist band 5 post in Hertfordshire community NHS trust now what are the things that they're looking for in this job if you want to progress in your career and all that they're looking for a motivated enthusiastic band 5 physiotherapist to join their team on a full-time or part-time basis 
And now you're going to see the main responsibilities of the job, which is providing assessment, diagnosis, and treatment to the patients with varied conditions and needs. You'll have to offer expert advice, guidance, and support to other professionals, carers, and relatives, and other non-professionals. You'll also be able to demonstrate sound clinical reasoning, communication skills. So you have to read all that. And you need a full valid driving license and access to a car to use regularly for business purposes unless you have a disability as defined by the Equality Act 2010. Then you have to read about them, about the NHS Trust. So you have to know more about the place that you're applying for because you will be asked questions in the interview as well. So what all they have written. So I'm just showing you an example. So you need to know about the NHS Trust and then before you click apply now you need to go into their job description to know what are the responsibilities that you will have to manage in this job role so you'll provide uh, physiotherapy to patients with integrated ICT community nursing teams to provide assessment treatment for vulnerable patients with complex needs, patients in crisis, supported discharge, either from acute hospitals. So you're going to read each and every bullet point over here to make sure that you're applying for the right job and this job suits you well as well. The, the next important thing that you have to look into is person specification. So you need to know that your qualifications and education is apt for this job role again. What are the essentials, the degree that you need, the registration that you require, the HCPC registration or the license to work as a physio in the UK. If you need any PG courses, relevant courses in long-term conditions management, your experience and knowledge, whatever is needed, your skills and abilities, your personal qualities and other essential requirements. After that, when you're shortlisted and when you pass the interview and everything is sorted, the next thing they'll look into is your DBS. They'll do a disclosure and barring service check to see if you're fit enough to work as a healthcare professional. If you've got any convictions against you, criminal convictions and all that, they'll go through that check as well being an employer. Next is your certificate of sponsorship, okay? This place you need to look because you need to see if they are offering tier 2 visas if you are coming from abroad. So you need to see if they are offering a certificate of sponsorship. And then um, UK registration. If you have a valid UK registration or not, that's also quite important, which is the HCPC registration. So in certificate of sponsorship, I'll just quickly go into that. They That is... Candidates who require current skilled worker sponsorship to work in the UK, they are welcome to off to you know take this offer. And any other skilled worker applicants applying for entry clearance into the UK have had to present a criminal record certificate from each country they've resided continuously or cumulatively for twelve months or more in the past ten years. Okay, and then about the registration, the employer details is given up there. So this is how you go in detail and check for jobs that is apt for you guys. Thank you all for watching. I'll be coming up with more videos. Thank you and God bless.